Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Autumn from the Mistletoe Article Hub and welcome to another Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways on how to create fancy scenes using the glass material. Now this video is not a introduction to using the glass material because one, there really doesn't need to be any. Uh, using glass material is actually pretty simple as a matter of fact. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create a fish eye effect. Uh, on any object basically it doesn't have to be anything round it can be like a square basically and I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a sort of an illusion of a reflection of a different scene onto your cup kind of like making the scene look not so realistic like fakeish. okay so let's practice this on a uh, sphere that I have right here you can use whatever object you want to but let's go ahead and replace our diffuse material with the glass material and you do not have to be in the node editor by the way you can just simply do this on the far right properties tab in the material tab so let's go ahead and just to show you guys if we turn up the roughness all the way it becomes just about completely diffuse and all the way down we get a transparent like glass obviously so now why don't we give it something like a fisheye effect if we turn the IOR, the IOR all the way up, we get sort of this fisheye effect, and if we turn it up even more, it acts like a mirror because now it's completely fisheye, and that basically kind of takes away the realism from it, but that's our goal basically. If we turn it more down, the fisheye effect decreases, and one more time, it becomes completely transparent, making it more realistic like an actual glass cup. But if you turn it all the way to zero, it goes back to the fisheye. Alright, now let's try a different trick by making our object with the glass material have an illusion of a different scene, basically. Like a reflection. Except it's not actually going to be a reflection. So, let's say, uh, when I look through the glass, I want to see the HDRI in the background, basically. But, I don't want to get rid of the plane. So, why don't we right click on our plane and go into the object settings in the tab and turn off transmission. And as you can see, our plane is now invisible to all glass material. But be careful because once you do it to one object, it is invisible to all other glass materials. Uh, just let you all know that. So, uh, go ahead, this is up to you. You can just tweak with the light settings with the HDRI. And if you want to add an HDRI, just add one to the environment nodes. So, let's say we wanted a specific part of our HDRI uh, in the background, basically. When we look through the glass object, uh, like the Milky Way, for an example, uh, all you gotta do is let's add a map node to our setting. setting and uh, let's rotate our HDRI to put it into the right place so right behind the plane and the sphere as as you can see the Milky Way you, is now visible through the sphere basically and uh, why don't we just play around with the IOR and as you can see it gives us some very interesting results uh, but just remember, creativity is key. There are no rules to 3D modeling whatsoever. Create whatever you think looks good. It doesn't have to be realistic. And in fact, the key here is to not make it look that realistic, as you can see. So here are some, I guess, scenes that I made with those spheres, and basically. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And that is also a scene I made uh, with the, uh, the, the glass cup. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you all in the next one. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and yeah, goodbye, stay golden.